Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Maniac Monday. First and foremost, I hope each and every one of you had a fantastic weekend. Hopefully you got to get out and enjoy the weather. Hopefully you had some nice weather where you were over the weekend. If not, uh, hopefully you didn't get uh, uh, burnt too bad by this this uh, heat wave we're rolling through. I know it's been a scorcher here in Iowa. Uh, maybe it is where you're at. I don't know. What's the weather like where you're at? Is it hot, cold? Is it just right? Is it that mama bear, papa bear, baby bear? type thing yeah 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 uh and do uh um also i want to wish you guys a great morning evening dawn day or dusk whenever it is you're watching this uh, i had to squeeze that in there please do like share and subscribe guys and then for all all of you old faces and all you nude faces uh uh check out the uh, description box always 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 look in the description box for more information on the day's film uh including a list of the starring cast the director the runtime of the cut i am watching uh uh, a brief synopsis, a, uh, a couple of trivia things if I find anything worthwhile mentioning, and always a link for a trailer or sometimes a link for a scene in the movie. So if you look for um, uh, clips for movies in my reviews, you will never ever find them because I cannot uh, afford to uh, pay out uh, trademark fi trademark fees to uh, show little clips here and there, and uh, or or have a there's no studios that are looking to have me do their stuff like that at least <laughs> anyways um let's get on to the movie of the day today's is a very interesting one it's silly it's fun it's uh uh one i saw saw first time i ever saw it was probably about uh 12 years ago or so and this is it's an older one it came out in 1984 five uh it is uh so it's it's coming it's on that 35 year old mark so it's been around for a hot minute uh this one is running at an hour and 25 minutes i'm just going to go ahead and get it out here it is none other than nail gun massacre yes 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 folks this is the special edition from whoops from Borowski. This is, even though I don't like football, I don't play football. Uh, um, uh, Nail Gun Massacre is brought to you by Synapse Films. This is not the Code Red release, nor the uh, uh, 88 Films release. Which, uh, um, How are the transfers on those ones, guys? Uh, which do, do any of you know if you've checked out uh, either or of those releases? I know that uh, the... Uh, um, the 88 Films one is region free, so that's nice. Uh, I'm th I've been pondering of upgrading to that one because this one, the transfer is just me. I'm just I want to find something that's got a little better transfer, if that makes sense. Now, uh, like I said, this is from Synapse Films. Uh, there is zero, count them, zero reversible artwork, as usual, with most of the Synapse Films stuff. Uh, they're usually single-sided. It does come with a little booklet in here that it's just a little too, little uh, opening up, a little, uh, like, uh, just a little reader. It's 20 Things I Learned from Watching Nailgun Massacre, which are some funny things, like, um, such as uh, you can die from from being shot in the hand from nails uh you can be shot in the chest and you know a nail it's only going in about yay far and it's uh somehow it's fatal wounds and and these people are dying it's uh um uh, there's a whole thing about how how can a killer dressed in in a camouflage outfit with a biker mask on uh a nail gun and a, a pneumatic air gun and a uh um a, uh, a compressor on their back which it's like how did you not hear them for one and how did you not see them for two i mean for christ's sakes there's a bright yellow hose that's coming out of the back of the air compressor into the gun how could you not see that like there's there's uh, uh one scene in particular where these two girls are wandering in through this this area and and they walk right past the killer standing right there and it's broad daylight too on top of it and and the killer just jumps out at one point and is like ah does one of those numbers like oh i'm gonna get you now bitches you know i mean whatever it was he said i can't remember off the top of my head uh there's stuff like that um it's just and there's a whole thing just there's just some weird shit with this movie by you know i mean it's it's out there uh, what is it about? It's basically it's about a uh, a girl who at the very 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 beginning you're you're uh, uh, witness to a 
poor girl being brutally raped and brutally raped over and over and over again by a gang of uh, construction workers. So it gets a little brutal. Um, it doesn't really go in depth of, as far as showing the stuff, thank Jesus, because I don't want to, I, I, I didn't want to look at it. I mean, it, it was brutal enough as is. But, uh, uh, it, I mean, it's certainly no uh, um, I Spit on Your Grave or Miss 45 or... or uh, Gosh, what are some other good ones? Ah, I can't think of any. Uh, Miss 45 in, or Thriller, they call her One Eye. What an awesome movie that one is. If you haven't seen Thriller, they call her One Eye. Check that one out. It's also from Synapse Films as well. Uh, maybe, I don't know if I've reviewed that one or not. If I haven't, I definitely will sometime in the future because that's one that I thoroughly enjoy. And that one, I have both cuts of the film, so I'll be able to show off both of both, uh both releases that I have, even though they're both from Synapse Films. All right, so you're, this girl is brutally raped. Um, you are then uh, fast forwarded. I don't know how how much how much longer afterwards, but um, this it starts off with this lady that is uh, uh, doing some laundry outside. She's folding the old laundry, throwing it over the. Uh, the 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 uh, clothesline, you know that cliche uh, thing in horror movies. Uh, while she's out there, somebody sneaks into their cabin and murders her husband. Uh, she eventually goes over there and finds and runs off. Blah 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 blah. Um, eventually, you're treated to more murders. Uh, the the next one is these two dorks that are going off to do some some working in t in the uh the woods they're going out to to uh uh, uh chains use the chainsaw to cut down some trees and stuff like that um dorks all the way i'm not gonna lie they're they're uh uh Somebody who I was glad to see them die because they had just the dumbest lines ever. Uh, one of them, go, as a matter of fact, goes to take a leak and and uh, the killer happens to... This is the, one of the few deaths where I'm like, okay, I can see that. Uh, <laughs> the killer shot the guy right in the ding-ding with, with his nail gun. Uh, it it uh, definitely went in a little ways. Uh, there is a main artery there, so I imagine that one would have would have hurt. Uh, uh, and then the next one, I forget what that he did to the other guy, but uh, uh, sneaks up on him and oh, I know, shoots him in the head, and then he happens to accidentally ch chop off his own hand with the chainsaw. Uh, I don't know how that happened really, because the chainsaw must have been very sharp sharp for it to just chop through that fast in one fatal like swipe like it's a katana blade or something maybe it was japanese ginsu steel or something some of that some of that tempered steel that can go through through like six bodies in one whack you know <laughs> um and then you got uh there's a the killer by the way drives around in an old hearse uh there's a scene where the killer is driving down the road and there's this dude hitchhiking uh, the guy decides that he's going to flip off the, our driver, uh, who is our killer, our masked killer, uh, because the killer was not going to stop originally. The killer stops, blah, 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 blah. The guy comes up to the window, gets shot in the shot over and over and over again with the nail gun. Uh, he is then nailed to the pavement. Uh, how does that happen? I do not know. It uh, uh, made no sense to me. Um, but, uh, when the cops show up, they treat it like, uh, uh, just any old normal, uh, like murder case, which is kind of weird because it's not anything normal by any means when you got somebody brutally murdered with it, with a nail gun, they got nails sticking out of them. I mean, it's not like they got like hundreds of them sticking in them there, you know, there's probably like six or seven, uh, <laughs> sometimes only three or four you know it's not a lot not a lot but uh, uh enough to to uh, appease you to make you laugh and and have some entertainment and the uh the sheriff in this is this big giant burly man who looks like he's probably about six four uh got a big old grizzly beard and his and his whole time his he, he has a shoulder hol holster by the way he does not use the standard uh, uh, hip holster. I uh, did not have the standard uh, uh, belt, uh, policeman's belt as well. He is the sheriff, so you would think he would have uh, some cuffs and 
maybe some extra bullets and maybe a walkie talkie or maybe a uh, 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 some mace or something along those lines you would have figured he would have been carrying more than just just his shoulder cannon but uh, apparently that was just enough and uh, uh, he calls in this doctor who happens to be a hot hot rod cool guy doctor who doesn't abide by the rules he he's going to dress him cool gear, you know, like sleeveless shirts and driving a Corvette, you know, he, the guy is like clearly going through a midlife crisis, but he's trying to be cool on top of it. <laughs> uh, not very successful in my opinion. He comes off like a bigger dork in, in my opinion. If, if you've really seen this movie, I feel like he kind of does. Uh, it's, it's very hokey. But uh, he calls him there. They're investigating, blah, 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 blah. They get called to another murder where somebody has been murdered outside of this uh, this store, which it's funny because I, th- I can't remember if it's like a, a hardware store or what kind of store it was. Um, it was called CJ something. And I remember chuckling because uh, CJ's is the name of my family's bar uh, that we own here in Iowa. And uh, it made me chuckle. And I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't know we were in that line of business either. You know, apparently that's something new, something new that the old man has been been doing that I I haven't known all these years. One of those ordeals. (laughs) But um, uh, the body is basically just kind of like like left there just kind of like shove, shoved off on the side of the the building uh kind of in a little bit of grassy area but uh it's still very 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 visible from the street uh they got the doctor the hip cool doctor mr cool guy uh and and our uh, uh big old big old sheriff guy our our sharif uh he uh uh they show up and they're going over the whole thing uh, they do not cordon off the 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 um scene the the crime scene. They are called to another another murder. They decide, oh hey, this body's been here all this time, anyways. Why don't you just keep an eye on it, old man? That is that called it in. Um, we're just gonna leave it here until we can get back done with whatever it is we're doing, and then we might come pick it up. The key word is might, <laughs> because it. It's, the way they do it, it's so nonchalant, like, oh, yeah, it'll be okay. She's not going anywhere, which fucking no shit, dumbass. Of course she's not going anywhere. She's dead. <laughs> uh, and then uh, you got this uh, two co- two couples going up into uh, this the wooded area where our killer happens to be doing all its his uh, his or hers uh, 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 killing. Um, the killer is, um, yeah, uh, uh, starts off with one couple who go off and have a very, very weird, awkward sex scene where they're standing up and her, the girl's back is against a tree. Uh, um, I don't quite understand how it works. Not unless his penis was like hook shaped. It went down and hooked all the way back up, like maybe like a coat hanger, or or like some kind of weird curly cue, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe he had had one he had a 20-inch dong and he was able to to squeeze it up in there. But either way, it looked like it was an impossible reach with uh whatever he had packing. Uh it, more than likely he had it he was having sex with her pubic region and her her pubic hair and her her uh, uh, belly button. That's what it looked like. He was sticking it in her belly button. Um, kind of funny. And he's really just getting into it and just just wiggling in it and just just like like he's he deserves he deserves some kudos for his acting. He he really made it seem like he was fucking. <laughs> uh, um, they get killed. Uh, their deaths are funny, in my opinion. Uh, much needed because they they were victims that you didn't really need to care about. They were annoying from the get. Uh, the next two victims are annoying from the get, which is the other couple that's with them. Uh, one of the guys happens to get. She tells the guy to wrap his hands or arms around the tree. Excuse me. 
and then he come the killer comes up and nails the hands to the tree uh and essentially nailing him a couple more times after talk some shit about about uh being a piece of trash and this and that uh really stupid um and then then you're treated with this really weird scene where these two dudes are are uh, uh, having a nail gun fight, and and it's it's sounding like they're in the middle of of uh, uh, of a of desert storm or or Fallujah or or, or Afghanistan or whatnot. Um, it sounded like they were in a war zone <laughs> just from two guys shooting off these nail guns. Uh, very funny scene. Um, one that uh, uh, always cracks me up because there's a whole thing like. Uh, uh, they go inside, one person gets nailed to the, I think the wall, and then the other one gets nailed to, uh, I forget what, uh, but, uh, or maybe it was himself, but either way, they both get nailed, which is funny, they, they it was just funny as hell, um, one that I can watch over and over and over again. Now, as far as uh, uh, any kind of ratings goes on this one, technical side, this thing is not good. This thing's kind of a mess. It's probably like a 2 out of 5 when it comes to a technical side, but that is not why you watch this one. This is this one's pure entertainment only. Uh, you watch it for, for the corny lines, the... The uh, fun kills, the uh, the obscene, the uh, obscene amount of, of nudity in this. Like, if you're wanting some boobies, this one's got your boobies. You even get to see a man's penis at one point in this one. Uh, it's definitely chock full of lots of nudity, lots and lots of it. So keep that in mind. It gets a little skeezy. Um, now, as far as entertainment goes, uh, this thing is probably a four out of five when it comes on that one through five entertainment scale. This thing's probably a six out of ten, seven bordering a seven if you're watching it with some friends uh, that are like-minded and may uh, uh, draw some some joy out of this this uh, often not talked about um, uh, slasher, which uh, uh, people a lot of pe everybody knows about it. It's just that nobody really talks enough about it in my opinion this one's a this one's a good one this is a go-to for mine one it's a, a make me feel good kind of movie put that beauty down i'm gonna get the hell out of here uh, i hope every one of you have a fantastic day i'm gonna uh, uh do some things tomorrow i'm not 100 percent what i'm gonna do uh i'm stuck between a super indie independent film and uh one that I watched last night, which the one I watched last night, I want to save for Friday, actually. So we'll see. We'll definitely see. It's a massacre video. That's all I, I'm going to say. All right. Latest for massacre. Love you guys.